5 grams of methane, CH4, is burned in oxygen gas O2, producing CO2 and H2O. If the burning takes place at 500 degrees Celsius and at a pressure of 101 kilopascals, what volume of CO2 gas is produced? So this is a stoichiometry question. So the first thing I'm going to do is write out the equation and uh, the other information that we know. So it says that CH4 is burned in oxygen gas to produce CO2 and H2O. The other information we have here is we know we have a temperature of 500 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 101 kilopascals. And we'll use these later on to figure out the volume here. Uh, while we're at it, 500 degrees Celsius can't be used with any of these formulas, so we'll convert that right away to Kelvins by adding uh, 273, which gives us 773 Kelvins there. So we'll use that later. So in stoichiometry, first step is always to balance the equation. So to balance this, I will put a 2 in front of the O2 and a 2 in front of the H2O. So that's done. Next step in all stoichiometry, whether it's gravimetric or volumetric or whatever, is to find the moles of something that you know about here. So the only thing that we're given information, we can't figure it out from temperature, we can't figure out moles from pressure, but we can figure out a number of moles from the 5 grams of uh, methane. So let's do that. Little n equals little m over big M. And we take the 5 grams divided by the molar mass of CH4, so that's one carbon and four hydrogens, which gives us 16.05 grams per mole. And when we plug those into the formula, we get out 0 .0, no, 0 0.312 moles. So now we have a moles of something that we know, and we need to compare that to the thing that we don't know, which is uh, the CO2. That's what we're being asked about here. So this step, we do the mole ratio. This is, again, common to all forms of stoichiometry. So we're comparing CH4 to CO2. And when we look at the balanced equation, we can see that uh, the mole ratio is 1 to 1, which makes things easy. But we don't have one mole of CH4. We actually have 0 0.312 moles. And so that implies, if we do the cross multiply here, mul multiply by 1, divide by 1, we get 0 0.312 moles back out. So now we know that we have 0 0.312 moles of CO2. From this information, along with the temperature and pressure information given in the question, we can now plug that into a formula that will give us volume. Uh, in gravimetric stoichiometry, we would have found the moles and then plugged it back into the n equals little m over big M formula to get a mass back out. But in this case, we have a pressure and a temperature, so we can use n to find a volume. And when we rearrange the uh, ideal gas law, we get nRT all over P. So let's plug in those numbers. N is 0.312 times 8.314, always is what R is when we use the right units, times that by 773 kelvins, and divide by 101 kilopascals. And when we multiply through the top and then divide by the bottom, we get a volume of 19.85 liters.